Hi, I'm Kyle, trainer at CMAC, and today we're talking about iMovie. When getting started with iMovie, you'll want to create a library on your external hard drive. By default, iMovie puts a library on the internal hard drive, but you'll want to be able to take your library with you. To create a new library, we'll go File, Open Library, New. I'm going to save this library to my external hard drive. I like to make a new library for each new show I'm working on. Inside each library are events. I like to make a new event for each episode. I'll rename this event by highlighting it, hitting return, and typing in the new name. When I'm ready to work on the next episode, I'll create a new event by selecting File, New Event. That way I can keep my footage separated. So the library tells iMovie where to save everything, and the events help keep my content organized. Next I need to import my media. I'll do this by clicking on the downward arrow next to the plus. iMovie imports the content right off of the camera or the media card, so I don't have to transfer content in the finder beforehand. I have an SD card plugged into my computer, it's this untitled card, and iMovie automatically pulled up all the clips that I shot today. I want to double check the event that I'm importing into. The drop down at the top allows me to select the event I need or create a new event. Episode 1 is selected, so that's where my content's going to go. Down at the bottom, the button Import All will import all of the clips from the SD card. But if I only wanted to select a number of clips, I could select them from the list first. I can select clips from the list by clicking on them, or clicking on one and holding the Shift key, or I can select them out of order by holding the Command key. For this project, I just want to import all the clips. So I'll deselect the clips and click Import All at the bottom. My clips are now importing, but I can already start checking my clips by running my mouse over each clip in the Event Viewer. I can even start editing while the content's still importing. To do that, I'll select Projects at the top. iMovie makes two kinds of projects, movies and trailers. Trailers are cookie cutter projects that have a pre-made formula, whereas a movie project is more freeform, although it does have templates for you to choose from. I'm going to make a movie. Like I mentioned, there's themes or templates to choose, but I'm going to go with no theme, so I have the most control over my video. I'm going to call this project Studio Install, and it will be saved inside my Kyle library on my external hard drive. So now on the top left, I have access to my libraries and all of the content I've imported. In the top middle, I have access to all of the clips that I've imported into this particular event. And on the right, I've got playback and inspector controls. Down at the bottom is my timeline. To edit, I simply click and drag the parts of the clip that I want to use, then click the plus to add them to my timeline. The orange bar at the bottom of the clip lets me know that I've already used this clip in this project. I can zoom in and out of my timeline with the slider on the right for finer or broader controls over my video clips. I can select a clip in the timeline and make adjustments to it with the buttons above the viewer on the right. I have access to titles and transitions on the top left. When I'm all done with my edit and ready to export, I can select the share button on the very top right. iMovie has a number of options for export. It can send files directly to YouTube, Facebook, or Vimeo. But for playback on CMAC, I'll need to select File. Here I can rename my file, give a description about my file, add tags, and change the format of my export. I can also choose to add this to iMovie Theater. iMovie Theater allows you to sync your videos from your Mac to an iOS device. I personally don't need this option on. And now I can choose where my final export will be saved. The progress and countdown of my export is at the top right. So that's a quick overview of iMovie for use at CMAC. If you have any questions about editing or anything CMAC related, feel free to email us at info at cmac.tv. Happy editing!